This tutorial is all about strong and weak acids, not to be confused with concentrated and dilute acids. And what's meant by these strong and weak acids uh, in terms of their uh, number of ions in solution and the position of equilibrium for each of them. Typical weak acids might be the acid in lemon juice, which is citric acid, or the one which comes up on the uh, specification, ethanoic acid, which is found in vinegar. A strong acid might be something like hydrochloric or sulfuric or nitric or phosphoric acid, standard lab acids. So we'll learn that strong acids ionize completely in water, whereas weak acids only ionize partially in water and reach equilibrium. Uh, if you're not clear on what is meant by equilibrium, then watch another of these uh, tutorials on reversible reactions and equilibria first. So what makes an acid an acid? Well, if we were to take some solid benzoic acid or some solid citric acid, the acid which is in lemons, or some glacial ethanoic acid, in other words, pure ethanoic acid, as is found in solution in vinegar, then none of these would change indicator paper from uh, yellow to red or litmus to red or whatever. Um, it's only when water is present that they behave as an acid, so the water must be doing something to the structure of the acid. The formula of each of these acids mentioned, and some other ones here, all have something in common. They all have H's in their formula, not just any old H's, but an H that can be lost when water is added. And when water is added to an acid, what happens is it ionizes, and that means it splits up from being a molecule into separate ions. The H plus ions are released, and that leaves a negative ion as well. H plus ion would be what's called a cation, and a negative ion would be what's called an anion. Now the difference between strong acids like hydrochloric acid and weak acids like ethanoic acid is that when a strong acid ionizes, it changes completely into ions. Every single molecule of HCl here turns into H plus ions and Cl minus ions. Whereas when a weak acid like ethanoic acid ionizes, only very, 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 very few of them change into ions. The vast majority stay as undissociated molecules. Only a few ionize, and therefore, as there's only a few H pluses in solution, then the concentration of H pluses is quite low, and we've got a pH of probably about 3 or 4, whereas for the hydrochloric acid, we'd have a high concentration of H plus ions, and therefore we'd have a pH of probably 0 or 1. Because pH is a measure of the concentration of hydrogen ions in water, it's not a linear scale, which is why the smaller numbers have the higher concentrations. It's rather complex, something you'd learn about at A level. And here's a past paper question on this. Sulfamic acid is a weak acid. What's meant by a weak acid? Well, this is an acid which only... partially ionizes and has a pH of about 3 or 4. And there's our answer. It doesn't completely dissociate or doesn't completely ionize or forms an equilibrium mixture. Uh, certainly not a very low pH. So a strong acid is one which dissociates completely into ions, whereas a weak acid is one that dissociates only partially into ions. This is very different from the words concentrated and dilute, which is all to do with kind of orange squash, if you like. A concentrated acid is one where there's lots of moles of acid dissolved in one cubic decimeter of water, but a dilute acid is one where there are very few moles of acid dissolved in one cubic decimeter of water. Don't confuse the two things. Another past paper question. Hydrochloric acid, HCl, is a strong acid, whereas ethanoic acid is a weak acid. 
It shows the equation for hydrochloric acid completely ionizing in water and asks us to make a similar one, but one for ethanoic acid which only ionizes partially in water. Well here the ethanoic acid is as given, but instead of having an arrow to the right we're going to have a reversible arrow showing us the two ions it makes, CH3COO- and H+. Plus. And for the two marks, we need to have the equation written correctly and that reversible sign. Now we may have two acids of the same concentration, both being, for example, 0 0.1 moles per cubic decimeter. One might be a strong acid like hydrochloric, one might be a weak acid like ethanoic. Uh, but because they're the same concentration doesn't mean that they're going to be reacting in the same way. Because the speed of the reaction, for example with something like magnesium or with marble chips, is going to depend upon the concentration of the hydrogen ions in solution, not the concentration of the original acid. So weak acids will, generally speaking, react much more slowly than strong acids of the same concentration. Taking this further, we've got two solutions, one of hydrochloric acid, one of ethanoic acid, same concentration of each of those acids, one mole per cubic decimeter. But with magnesium, the strong acid reacts vigorously, whereas the weak acid only very slowly. And the reason is the concentration of hydrogen ions. Because the ethanoic acid has reached an equilibrium with very little concentration of H plus ions, there's very few H plus ions to collide with the magnesium. Collision frequency is low and therefore a low rate of reaction. Whereas the hydrochloric acid, with the greater concentration of H plus ions, there'll be a greater collision frequency with those magnesium uh, atoms, and therefore there'll be a faster reaction. Eventually, though, you would get the same volume of hydrogen gas. It's a little complex why that is, but essentially, um, by Le Chatelier's principle, which governs uh, equilibria, as we use up the H plus ions on the right side of the equilibrium with the ethanoic acid, that will force equilibrium to make more H plus ions, and as these more H plus ions are made, they will also react with the magnesium until eventually all of them have been used up. So both of these acids can eventually make the same uh, number of H plus ions and therefore will eventually make the same volume of hydrogen gas. But the ethanoic acid will take much, much longer. Ellen investigates the properties of two acids. In each experiment, Ellen uses the same concentration of acid. Look at the results table where we've got ethanoic acid with a pH of 4, slow reaction, dilute hydrochloric acid with a pH of 1, fast reaction, the dilute hydrochloric acid reacts much faster. Explain why using ideas between uh, collisions. Um, well, the hydrochloric acid has a higher concentration of H plus ions, so a greater collision frequency between H plus ions and magnesium. So the idea that the H plus ions are more crowded or there's a greater concentration of them for one mark and the idea of more collisions per second or a higher collision frequency for the second mark. Monty investigates the properties of two acids, dilute ethanoic and dilute hydrochloric, and adds a small piece of magnesium ribbon to ethanoic acids. There's bubbles of gas, that would be hydrogen. At the end of the reaction, a colour solution would be left. That would be magnesium ethanoate, and it says here that's what it is. Uh, write down the balanced symbol equation for that reaction. Well, on the left-hand side, we've got magnesium, and we've also got ethanoic acid. On the right hand side, when we've got magnesium ethanoate and hydrogen. Now we need to balance it for the second mark. Well, we've got two ethanoates on the right hand side, so we're going to need two ethanoic acids on the left hand side. Apart from that, everything else balances. 
Monty investigates the reaction of both acids with a lump of calcium carbonate now, and he wants to find the volume every 10 seconds, so he's connected it up to a gas syringe, and he does two experiments, one with the dilute ethanoic, one with the dilute hydrochloric, and he makes sure he does a fair test. Look at the graph for his results. You can see that the hydrochloric acid uh, reaction is very much faster than the ethanoic acid because of the higher collision frequency, and uh, the reaction eventually finishes after about 60 seconds or thereabouts. The reaction between the calcium carbonate and the ethanoic acid, much slower, is still happening after 80 seconds, and what will be the total volume at the end of this reaction? Well, after 80 seconds, it hasn't finished, but it will eventually create the same amount of gas. Now, if I can read this across... I think that's where it would be, and it looks like 55 cubic centimetres, so the total volume you'd expect to be the same at 55 cubic centimetres. It would just take very much longer to make that amount of gas. Dilute hydrochloric acid reacts much faster than dilute ethanoic acid. Explain why, using ideas about hydrogen ions and collision between particles. One might say that uh, hydrochloric acid... is a strong acid, whilst ethanoic acid is weak. So hydrochloric acid has a higher concentration of H plus ions, so there will be a greater collision frequency between H plus ions and the other reactant for hydrochloric acid. Rather a long-winded answer, but it was worth three marks. We want to make sure we've got all the points uh, that we need to. As the answers, we've got that correct equation for two marks, the 55 cubic centimetres, and then 3.1, comparing the strong with the weak acid, one, comparing the number of hydrogen ions in solution between the two acids, and one comparing the collision frequency between the two acids and the other reactant in each case.